Alright, what's going on guys, it's Light here, and this is about to be one more of those, like, kind of rant type of videos and such, and yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be sitting here talking about Toy Logic as a company, upon why my head kind of tends to hurt just thinking about the decisions that they make. Because, like, I, you know, I was bored as such, went on Google and whatnot, typed in, like, Happy Dungeons just to see anybody just talking about the game and see if anybody reminisces about the game. And, you know, quite a few people have and whatnot. Heck, even looking at the Twitter account of such, RKX, of uh, Happy Dungeons. And the thing is, it's like, when I'm looking at the YouTube channel of Toy Logic, I'm sitting here, like, seeing, you know, like, how Happy Dungeons used to be a thing, and how that game was amazing, and how, you know, Happy Wars had actually had a solid player base as well, too. And then, like, I remember, <clears throat> there was a time where... They decided to not really do much with Happy Wars anymore. Whenever they released the Sacred Armor, or just basically the Royalty Set, I think that was near the end of 2017 when they, re when they released that. It, like, it was like in December 2017. They didn't update the game anymore after that. Like, yeah, we probably got like an anniversary here and there. They stopped doing holiday-related things, just a bunch of stuff. Like, the game just stopped just getting attention. And that was the the inevitable downfall of what led to Happy Dungeons as well, too. A lot of people theorize, you know, it's because of money, you know, they, they didn't have the money and such to, to fund these games. But it's like, I find that complete bogus. Like, I know people just sit there and just point that out and whatnot, and just because, well, they ran out of money. That's, that's the theory that people came with. But no, that's not even the case. I just think they want to disassociate themselves with those IPs because I just think... And this is my own th my own theory about it. They don't care enough about like the type of thing they build because I don't think that's what they wanted to grow to begin with. Maybe originally that's what they wanted and stuff like that. But like as time went on, they're like, no, we want to branch out to other like projects and stuff like that to try other things. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad thing to do, but you're kind of just throwing the people and such who who really valued a lot of the things that you did just under the rug just because of. Pretty much selfish decisions, honestly. Like, I, there's no other way to put it, put around about it. Because here's the thing: if people are trying to make the theory that this is because Toy Logic ran out of money and stuff like that, for one, how the hell are they still keeping Happy Wars up when that thing, you know, it makes money here and there? And then it's like, how the hell did they fund Warlander and worked on Glitchbusters? Like, to really show you that they don't really care about those old games, this is their banner. This is what they want to focus on and stuff like that. They don't care about the other stuff. And I know some people be like, well, I mean, this these are their newer projects. Dude, Happy Wars has not been touched since 2017. Warlander obviously was definitely was in the works for quite a bit. But we only got some insight last year, I believe, or two not last year or two years ago. I think it was two years ago. Back in 2022. And so we got any insight based around this game. And then and then it released uh in 2023. Which is just baffling to me. And then we get Glitchbusters as well, too, that never even released on console at all. Um, well, Xbox in particular, which also makes me theorize as such as that Toy Logic does not really like the, ha the Happy Wars community or does the community build revolving around Xbox, probably due to how toxic it is. But the thing is, and such, it's like people can't even argue and say they didn't have enough money to keep dungeons up when they, and they can. They can make the game probably offline if they really wanted to. I don't see why that was never even an option to begin with. There's people out there who is grabbing the source code for like Happy Wars and such so people could be able to play Happy Wars on their on their PC and stuff like that, playing an older version of it, it's modifying your own gear and, and CPUs and all that type of stuff, which it is really cool. I don't have access to it like I used to. It was back on my old laptop. don't have that anymore. Kind of wish I had access to files again just to kind of mess around with Happy Wars Resurrected. But other than that, it's like it's, it's just such a disappointment that we can't keep a lot of these games because of how companies tend to make their decisions as such of what they choose to keep and what they choose not to keep i find it bullcrap because it's like there are people out there who spend lots of money on these games and it's like money we can't get back because they decided i don't know yeah we're just gonna pl pull the plug keep the games in a way where we could be able to have them offline I don't see why Happy Dungeon is not capable of, be, of a game being played offline. I don't even see why the game was even structured to be made just to be online service based anyways. The game is completely playable offline. Progression is completely playable offline. It's not like Happy Wars. See, Happy Wars is a little different story. A lot of its content and stuff like that is locked through online play. 
you can't there's not much you could do offline and such besides playing like story mode so that i can understand and whatnot but for happy dungeons not having an offline like version of that game i find it so stupid that anybody who sits there just says the reason why the game shut down because they don't have enough money they can make the game completely offline allow people to make their own servers without it costing them a dime that is the thing i do not understand and that is why I have this inner drive of wanting to be able to make a game that is similar to Happy Dungeons and use some things and such that inspire me or maybe copy a couple things I do but not too much of a complete copy because I want to make a game as such that feels like Happy Dungeons and just really bring that back. But the only way, as I stated in my like an old video, the only way I'm able to do that is if I sit here and allow my IP of the Black Magic Mage called Magi and the Legacy of Gemites grow, this can determine how well a game can work and such if I were to make a Happy Dungeons inspired game by using those two IPs. And it's like, I want, want to do it. Not only just because for my sake for myself, for me to even play the game for myself, but just for the other people as well too. It's a game that I hold near and dear to my heart. It's a game that I value so much. And it's just gone just because the company just decides, yeah, we, we were, no, you can't play anymore. It's, why? That's the thing I don't understand. It's just like, why? I feel like the time and stuff that I put in the game, like over 2,000 hours was just wasted. And it made it even worse because they shut it down on my birthday as well too. Uh, that was back in June 17th of uh, 2019. That's how they shut down the game. Insane. But other than that, that's just like my rant and whatnot. I just hope that, like, you know, maybe in the future, Toy Logic does decide to bring back Happy Dungeons that they did and they do make it all offline based, then I will get an Xbox again. I'm not even going to hesitate. I am getting an Xbox again. I am going to live stream that game. I'm going to record that game. I'm going to make banger videos off of that type of stuff. I am about to be excited. But anyways, this is kind of a video of me kind of just talking about Toy Logic. Heck, I would I would attend you at their channel as well too to try to get them to know no get to get to see this video. Like, come on, man. Come on, Toy Logic. I've been following your company since back in 2014. Jeez. Anyways, that's enough. That's it. See you guys.